Hey guys, this clunky looking contraption is actually a functional flooding airlock. Uh, it's something I've been playing around with this morning as a way of separating the interior of an underwater structure from the ocean outside. Uh, I think it's actually pretty neat, so I just wanted to show it to you guys in action. This won't be any kind of tutorial because it needs to be refined a little better than it is, but uh, I just kind of want to show it off a little bit. So let's say for the purposes of illustration here that this section of grass represents the interior space of the building that you have underwater. And on the other side I've put down a couple lapis blocks to represent the uh, side of the airlock that the ocean would be on. And so what we're going to do is let's say you're inside your underwater building and you want to go outside into the ocean for you know a little walkabout or whatever. You're going to go inside the airlock, press this button, it'll shut behind you, it will flood the room that you're in and then it will open the airlock out to the ocean. So you can go about and, uh, you know, do what you need to do out on the ocean floor, take care of whatever. And then when you are done, you can go back into the airlock here, same thing, hit the button uh, over here, and after a couple seconds, this airlock will close behind you, and then the room will drain out. Just like that. Um, there are buttons on the outside of the airlock so that if you are, for example, stuck out on the ocean and you want to get in the airlock, you can cycle it so that it will fill the room with water and then open the door so you can go in and then drain it out again. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's a little bigger than I would have liked. Uh, you can conceivably hide some of this stuff underground, like let's say this, these blue blocks are like the level of your ocean floor. Uh, you can definitely tuck some of this away under the ground, but you're still going to have to build some kind of enclosure for the uh, the top of it. But I think all things considered, it's just you know a fun way of building underwater and kind of making that transition to and fro. So, alright. Thanks, guys.